Fourth grade, module one, lesson 14 homework. Number one, use the standard algorithm to solve the following subtraction problems. So we have 71,989 minus 21,492. We start all the way at the far right with nine minus two is seven. Eight minus nine, we can't do. We're gonna borrow from the nine. That becomes an eight, this is 18. 18 minus nine is nine. 8 minus 4 is 4, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 7 minus 2 is 5. We get 50,497. B. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 9 we can't do, so I'll borrow from the 9. It becomes an 8. This becomes 18 minus 9 is 9. 8 minus 4 is 4. 1 minus 6 I need to borrow again, so this becomes a 6. This turns into 11 minus 6, which is 5. 6 minus 9, can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 3. That becomes a 2, and this now becomes 16 minus 9, which is 7, and 2 minus nothing is 2. 275,497. C, 371,89 minus 25,192. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 9, can't do it. So I would borrow from the zero, but I can't take anything away from zero because it's already nothing. I'm going to go over here and borrow from the one. That will become a zero. And this becomes a 10, but I still need to borrow from it so that I can get back to the eight. So this, I'm going to borrow from the 10, make it a nine, and this turns into 18. Now I can subtract. 18 minus nine is nine. Nine minus one is eight. 0 minus 5 we can't do, so I'll borrow from the 7, it becomes a 6, and this turns into 10 minus 5 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 4, and 3 minus nothing is 3. So we have 345,897. D, 879,989 minus 721,492. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 9, we need to borrow, so that becomes an 8, we have 18 minus 9 is 9, 8 minus 4 is 4, 9 minus 1 is 8, 7 minus 2 is 5, and 8 minus 7 is 1, 158,497. The next one, 9 minus 2 is 7. 0 minus 9 we can't do, but I can't borrow anything from this 0, so I need to go all the way to 9, make it an 8. This will make that a 10, but I still need to borrow from it, so it's going to become a 9. And then this one becomes 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 4 is 5, 8 minus 8 is 0, 7 minus 8 we can't do, so that becomes 7, 17 minus 8 is 9, and 7 minus 7 is 0. 90,517. F. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 7 is 1. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 8 minus nothing is 0. 858,919. And we have G. So we have a lot of zeros in a row. So I can't do 0 minus 9, but I can't borrow from any of these zeros, so I need to go all the way to the 9, make it an 8, and I can't just come back here and turn this one into a 10. I have to start here, going place value by place value, so that becomes a 9, and then this becomes a 10, this becomes a 9, so now I can subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 9 is 0, 8 minus 1 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 5, and 8 minus nothing is 8. 857,011. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 9 we can't do, so I'll borrow from the 3, it becomes a 2. 18 minus 9 is 9. 2 minus 4 I can't do, that becomes an 8. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 minus 9 I need to borrow. 17 minus 9 is 8, and 1 minus 1 is 0. 87,819. 897. 
500,989 minus 242,000. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 0 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. Now here we can't do 0 minus 2, but I can't borrow from this 0. So I need to come all the way over here. That becomes a 4. That becomes 10, but we still need to borrow from it so that we can do 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 4 minus 2 is 2. 258,989. Draw a tape diagram to represent each problem. Use numbers to solve and write your answer as a statement. Check your answers. Number two, Jason ordered 239,021 pounds of flour to be used in his 25 bakeries. The company delivered the flour showing, the company delivering the flour showed up with 451,202 pounds. How many extra pounds of flour were delivered? So he ordered, first let's draw a tape diagram. So he ordered 239,021 pounds to be used in 25 bakeries. Now this 25 bakeries is kind of extra information. We don't need it. So I'm just going to cross it out so we don't worry about the number 25. The company delivering flour showed up with 451,202 pounds. How much, how many extra pounds were delivered? So we have the flour that they needed. So I'm going to put needed flour and extra flour. So they needed 239,021. The extra is how much we want to know. And the total here that they showed up with was 451,202. So to figure out what was extra, we need to subtract. Let's do 451,000. 202 minus 239,021. Make sure you line up your place values. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 2 we can't do, so I need to borrow from the 2. That becomes a 1. 10 minus 2 is 8. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 9 we can't do. This becomes 4. 11 minus 9 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So we are extra. We get 212,181. Now to check, let's add and make sure that that's correct. So our check would be 239,021 plus 212,181. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. So these, when you add them together, you do get 451,202. So it works, and our statement would be that there were 212,181 extra pounds of flour. Number three. In May, the New York Public Library had 124,061 books checked out. Of these books, 31,117 were mystery books. How many of the books checked out were not mystery books? Draw our tape diagram. So we have mystery books and other. There were 31,117 mystery and we don't know how many others but we do know that the total was 124,061. So we want to know how many were not mystery books. This question mark right here. So let's subtract 124,000 61 minus 31,117. 1 minus 7 we can't do. We can do 11 minus 7 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. We can't do 0 minus 1. If I borrow, we have 10 minus 1 is 9. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 3 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow. 
12 minus 3 is 9, and that would just be 0. So we have 92,944 would go right here and other. And to check, what we need to do is add 31,117 plus 92,944 and make sure that we get this total. So 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. And 3 plus 9 is 12. 124,061. So that does check out. And we would say that 92,944 books checked out were not mystery. Number four, a class A dump truck can haul 239,000 pounds of dirt. A class C dump, dump truck can haul 600,200 pounds of dirt. How many more pounds can a class C truck haul than a class A truck? So we have two dump trucks. And let's see, so we have class A can haul 239,000 and class C can haul a lot more than that. It can haul 600,200. So we want to know how much more it can haul than a class A. So that would be the, all of this right here. So how much extra can the class C hold? We're going to subtract 600,200 minus 239,000. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero, two minus zero is two. Zero minus nine we can't do, but I can't borrow from that zero. So this becomes a five. 10, but I need to borrow from it. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 3 is 6. 5 minus 2 is 3. So this extra would be 361,200. And to check, let's add 361,200 plus 239,000 to make sure that we get 600,200. So when I add, I do. I get 600,200. So our answer, our statement would be that class C can haul 361,200 more pounds than class A.